Hello, Mal. <laughs> Okay, that was very formal for the informal chat we've just decided we were going to have. <laughs> Hello, Mel. How's it going? Yeah, it's good, thank you. Good, good, good. I was just calling, well, not calling, we're just actually chatting. Sat in front of each yeah. other, actually. Yeah, just chatting outside in the sun, which mm, is nice. Makes a change. Yeah, it just made me happier. Yeah. I don't know about you. Yeah, ditto, yeah. 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 Um, I was just calling to talk about your whole double life that you lead. Mm, yeah, loads of people ask me about that today. <laughs> it is a bit of a double life, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Um, what do you want to know about it? Uh, well, why don't we just acknowledge what you actually do first? Because, <laughs> you know, we're talking about netball heroes quite a lot at the moment, mm. but you are a literal <laughs> life hero. <laughs> I don't know if that sentence <laughs> made sense. <laughs> But you're a hero. Oh, thank you, Laura. You do. Don't know about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm a doctor. Cool. Um, I'm a F2, we call it, which is like your second year post qualification. So. And for those of people that don't know, it is like Scrubs. It is. The TV. It's exactly That's like the Scrubs. Yeah. yeah. I'm JD. I have a Turk. It's all exactly the same. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we like we rotate around different jobs and just see what we like and then we're meant to pick what specialty we want to do, but I don't know. Aww. So yeah, but it's good. It's good, it's busy. Yeah. I was saying to people today that you go so you'll do four months of one job and four months of a different job and some jobs are just chilled and and nice and easy to fit in with training and some jobs are terrible yeah. and really hard to fit in with yeah, training well, and you do like, lots of night shifts yeah. and things and you come off the back of night shifts and play games and yeah. that kind of thing but it is what it is and I enjoy it so well I feel like I literally live I don't know why I keep saying literally, literally. <laughs> it's happening um I feel like I live it with you a little yeah bit. I think you might do as well part. I think you do. I think there's a lot of people out there that live yeah. it with me and when I'm feeling in pain yeah. they sometimes suck at that too yes. but yeah I mean to put it into perspective I know I've spoke to you after tough night shifts mm. where you've had to deal with you know people losing their lives and speaking to families after yeah. and for how old are you now i'm 26 which <laughs> just actually blows my mind yeah. like you're 26 year old 26 years old you're helping our people distracting us oh no get away get away get away <laughs> you're 26 years old you're literally saving people's lives and you're dealing with everything that comes with that yeah. whether it goes good or bad which is incredible mm. and then you come and you do everything that these girls do mm. on the netball court which is amazing Lola it really is thanks it is yeah there are some days and I've had a few tough days recently where yeah you, know, you have to break bad news to somebody or mm. yeah something doesn't go the way that you hope it would go and I think that's harder in the, the early stages when you're doing it. Because I think when you go through medical school, you obviously think you're going to be saving lives left, yeah. right and centre. And yeah, you're going to yeah. be amazing. And it's going to be like Grey's Anatomy and everyone comes back to life. And that doesn't happen all yeah. the time. But and that's one of the tough bits that you have to deal with, with the job. And that's actually where I find netball really helps. That if I've had a terrible day, I can come and you do just forget about it for a couple of hours and do feel much better after it where... I think it's harder when you go home and you have to think about it and dwell on it and think about those tough days, but... I mean, you do all the doctor stuff, save lives, <laughs> deal with all the bad, safe. and then you come and you train, and for me, you are, like, I've trained with a lot of people, and you are the best trainer, just Aww. because you're so fit. I feel like you're the best trainer. No. I feel like this is like a, no, you're We've the best. No, time. you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> But I do yeah. think there's like, I think we can look back on moments for both of us when we were younger, where we had coaches who um, ingrained some like tough life lessons. Yeah. Joe Munyon. Joe, Joe Munyon is who I was thinking yeah, about. Yeah. I had Maggie and Colette. We both had Colette yeah, as yeah. well. Who uh, and Karen remember Atkinson. those sessions in Birmingham with Colette. Yeah. Me, you. Zago. In in <laughs> Stockland Green yeah. Leisure Centre for two hours, just running and running with a ball. Yeah. And so I think you look back on those favourites and you're like, yeah, okay, if I could do that, yeah. then I can do, do anything. anything. Yeah. So I think it's it's the foundations that you get, isn't it, that keep yeah. you wanting to train and push on. Last thing that we should just acknowledge, tell me how long your days are. So I get up at half six-ish and then 
you'll probably hand over at eight o'clock to someone. So by the time you leave the hospital, that's about half eight, get home for nine-ish. So and leave times, my house at about seven, Are there times where you go straight from work to training? Yeah, like every, every, time, every time, every single time, <laughs> every time. There's times where I don't go home. That eyes are bald, you go to the head, so if anybody... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my housemates always laugh because on like a Sunday night I'll be cooking like five different meals, which never last me the week, the week. and just nothing ever works out how I plan for it to. And I'm always stopping up to buy food, even though I'm sure I've planned it really well. So there's like a real good solidarity in the hospital that yeah. everyone is doing it, and everyone's Does everybody cool. Everybody go and play netball. No, Super no one goes after. and plays. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. Well, Not Layla, we better get up in there. <laughs> yeah, so time to eat some thanks. food. Yeah. Yeah. Eat some food. Nice to speak to you, See Laura. See you soon. Great. Bye, buddy. Bye.